Hello guys, today we will be learning about the half adder circuit using the Verilog code. So first let us know what we mean by Verilog code. Verilog is the hardware description language which is used for modeling, designing and simulating digital circuits and systems which we can implement it by using FPGA that is the field programmable gate array. It is widely used for implementing Verilog designs tools like Xilinx Vivado. The second one is ASICS. ASICS is the application specific integrated circuit in which the integrated circuit designed for specific applications where Verilog code is synthesized into a netlist and used in the fabrication of the ASIC. The third one is the CPLD. CPLD is the complex programmable logic devices which is smaller and less complex than the FPGA and there are many more ways which we can implement the Verilog code by using embedded systems, custom hardware development and mixed signal design etc etc etc. Now let us further move towards the truth table of the half adder circuit. Half adder circuit combines the two binary input data that is let us call it as A and B and having two output that is sum and carry. Since it is a two binary data input, we will have the first binary data as 0, 0, that is the 0th bit, then 1 bit, then 2 bit, then 3 bit. Now we have to do the calculation here. So the sum of 0 plus 0 will be 0. And here we didn't got any carry. So sum will be 0, carry will be 0. Now the sum of 0 plus 1 will be 1. Here the sum is 1 and we didn't got any carry. So sum will be 1 and carry will be 0. Now the sum of 1 plus 0 will give us 1 as sum and we didn't got any carry as usual. So sum is 1, carry is 0. Now the sum of 1 plus 1 will give us 2 but we can't write 2 as like this. This is the wrong way. So the binary form of 2 is 0 and 1. So 1 plus 1 will give us 0 as sum and 1 as carry. So the sum will be 0 and the carry will be 1. Now let us move further to get the expression for the A and B. First, we will get the expression for the sum. So, let us see where we are getting 1 in the sum column. We are getting 1 here and we are getting 1 here. So, here in this column, we are getting A as 0, so A bar, B as 1, so B. In the next column, we are getting A as 1, so A, B as 0 means B bar. This is the expression for the sum. This is like the XOR gate expression. So we can write it as A XOR of B. Now we will get the expression for the carry sum. So A B carry 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1. We got 0 0 and last one. Same again. We will see where we got the 1 in the carry line. Here we are getting at the last bottom. So carry will be equal to, we are getting A as 1, so A, B as 1, so B. This is the expression for the carry. Now let us move ahead and draw the circuit diagram for the A and for the sum and carry. So we got the sum as A XOR of B and carry as AB. So first let us draw the two lines as the input A and B. We will do the expression, uh, expression for the sum that is AXR of B. XR gate is drawn like this. So this is AXR of B. So output we are getting as sum. Now we will take the A input from the A line and B input from the B line. And since here 
that is the AND operation performing here. So A, B in the AND form we are getting carry here. So this is the circuit diagram for the sum and carry. Now let us move further ahead to implement the design of Verilog code of half address circuit in the EDA playground. So EDA playground is the platform used for designing circuits using hardware description language. So guys, we have to do it in the EDA playground. So this page will get open. Click here. You have to log in before doing any design in this platform. If you won't log in, it won't run. So log in here. You have to register for a full account. You will have to fill all the details after registering into it. Get log in, logged in. Okay, so after getting logged in, you'll see the page like this. Now, first you will do for the design of half address circuit. You have to define the module of the half address circuit as half adder. You can take any other name for it. Now, we are having input and output as a comma b comma sum comma carry define it separately as input a comma b and output sum and carry now we have to assign the value of sum and carry so what we got for the sum that is a x or of b a XOR of B. This is the expression for the XOR gate. This one is the expression for the XOR gate. Now we will assign the value for the carry, which is A and B. Now we will end module here that is terminating the code. Now we will perform the test bench of the design. For the test bench, again we need to create a module called as half adder and make sure that the module name of this one and the module name of the design, it should not be same. Now we will take the register. Register is nothing but input. That is A comma B and the wire which is nothing but the output which is sum and carry now again we will describe the module name but here we have to take the module name which we have mentioned it here so here we got the module name and UUT comma A comma B comma sum comma carry this is like the this one this module name and this module name should be same and after that you have to design, uh, define the input and output in this uh, bracket with UUT or DUT UUT is the under unit time which will check the output produced is correct or not after that we will initialize this Okay, so what I'm going to write now is very important because this two line of code you have to write in every test bench. If not, it won't run. So what is the meaning of this dollar sign first? So this dollar sign 
will differentiate the system task to the Verilog task. And here this VCD, this one is the value change dump, which is a standard file format for storing data in digital circuit simulations. And here, oh sorry, here dump bars zero. Okay, so this dump bar zero is the no way in which no variable will be dumped at time zero, which means that the initial state of the variable won't be recorded in the VCD file. After that, we will declare A as zero, B as zero, then hash 10. Here hash means time delay and 10 means to wait 10 time unit before proceeding to the next simulation because it will observe the behavior of the circuit at different time points so that it will make it easier to analyze the result as well as it will verify the functionalities. And then we will declare b equal to 0 and b equal to 1. Again, hash 10 a equal to 1 b equal to 0 hash 10 b equal to 1 b equal to 1 and again hash 10 now here finish means to terminate the simulation and end the program here after writing the code here we need to see we need to make changes in this column so for the test bench plus design choose as system verilog or verilog because we are doing it in the verilog for the tools and simulators take the verilog 0.9.7 after that take the run options as open ep wave after run and show output file after run and give the output file name in whatever you like i have given half adder here save it run it Okay, so the small correction here, guys. Forgot that this is the correct syntax for the to terminate the simulation. Save it and run. Yeah, so since there was no error in the last and no syntax error, nothing. We got the output waveform like this. If you are having any error, it won't show the output. And EDA Playground is the most sensitive to the error and it won't show the error like at which particular point you are having. So you have to be very careful while doing it. After that, click it here to exit the waveform. Don't go back, otherwise, whole your code, whatever you have written, it will go vanished so click here and that's it guys hope you have understood the half adder circuit using the verilog in ada playground